to be more brilliant, but I guess maybe it's a little cloudy. Yeah. Hmm. So that's what it sounds like, packet stuff. Ah, that's interesting. And I think you could actually uh, talk to those people up there if they're up there talking, listening, you know. Yeah. So, so could you talk to them um, on the radio? Yeah. Ah, that's cool. Yep. See, I'm <laughs> losing a little of its brilliance. Yeah. Probably because the sun is going down a little bit. Yeah, that's hmm. that wasn't the greatest one. It's been brighter before. Hmm, yeah. But it's a nice, long pass. Hmm, yeah, that's pretty neat. Now, will he pass again tomorrow night? Like, does he go around the Earth and well, then... Every 90 minutes he comes around, but the Earth is turning be beneath him. So, when he comes around, we'll be somewhere else, and it'll be a while till it works out that we're underneath him again when he comes around. Ah, sort of thing. see. Sort of more of a, it's kind of a polar orbit, but not quite. Hmm. So, so the people up there mm -hmm. get to see the whole world, mm -hmm. the whole Earth, at various times. Huh. You know, as it spins and as they go around. Mm-hmm. So. That's interesting. Yeah, that's just about losing it now. That's mm -hmm. about where I saw it when it first became visible on the other side. Hmm. But you'll still hear the packet. Hmm. Which means you could still be talking to the people. Hmm. And then you'll hear it fade out after a while. Hmm. Now if I had to, if I took the squelch off of this, mm -hmm. it would carry it farther, you know, ah, you hear it, yeah. be able to hear it longer. Hmm. Well, I guess that's about it. Yeah. Well, that was it. What hmm. exactly?